Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here with another in the behind the scenes of Inner Circles videos, the recording of, the writing of uh, series that I am doing. In the last video I talked a little bit about the writing process, uh, how I come up with ideas, where they magic themselves from out of nowhere, and how I tend to be very much focused on groove. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the tools that are used to capture that, those in the initial stages. And for me, primarily, a lot of my stuff is done with this. You may have seen other videos on my channel about the looper. To me, the looper is probably the most important pedal I own, uh, particularly this one, because you can store ideas in it. So if I'm writing a tune, uh, like the, the tune found that I played in the last video, I would tend to, as I'm going through it, record it into the looper and then save it. So I've got a, you know, that as a, a recording of my idea. And then as part of that as well, I will start trying to figure out ideas which go over the top of that and where the song can progress. So I do use the looper a lot and it's always, apart from now, obviously, uh, connected to my pedal board. So it's there can just hit record and I'm good to go whenever I'm noodling, playing around, or in a writing session. The best thing about some of these tools as well is, and something I, I forgot to mention in the previous video, getting yourself in the right headspace means, for me, breaking away from the computer, being in another room, being somewhere else, I find that I am much more creative. So ha having some of these portable tools uh, is really important for me when it comes to songwriting. So that is tool number one. Uh, second of all is, if I'm really desperate, I tend to use my smartphone, sound recording app on there, record the idea of the guitar. What I also tend to do is, because <laughs> it saves me some time, is I actually video myself playing it to save a bit of time time when I've completely forgotten how to play the idea and it's really complicated or something. I've got a video of it because I oh yeah, that's me playing that with my fingers. I, I know where to go, it saves me a lot of time. So that is a good idea of videoing yourself playing, playing the clip so you don't forget it. I also tend to maybe go on do some longer writing sessions and with that, I tend to use my iPad, very simply this iRig Pro which I can plug my guitar in and record it directly into the iPad using GarageBand. Reason I use that, because I like to write with rhythms. I've got a drum machine on here. I can get guitar parts down, can actually start arranging and sorting out the structure simply straight from the iPad and states from GarageBand. The other thing for GarageBand is I can import it directly into Logic so I can work on it uh, directly as a kind of scratch track for our anything for, for when I'm doing the completed track. And I will say that I have on a number of times you actually used bits that I've recorded on the iPad, actually used them in the finished tracks because they sound pretty good and I, I can't improve on them. So there's something called demoitis or scratch track fever where you kind of get so, you fall so much in love with the scratch track. Anything you do other than it doesn't actually sound as good or as good, so you end up keeping that. So I have actually used stuff I've recorded as scratches. As I keep saying, having these tools is great for me because I can go somewhere else, I go somewhere else in the house, can go to someone else's house, can just go away and just be me the guitar, not all this stuff distracting me. I can just focus in on the task of songwriting. So I hope you found that useful. That's some of the gear I use uh, when I am writing and getting into the writing process. Uh, I'm gonna now talk about a bit more about the album in the next video and where some of the ideas came from and what my general philosophy on this album was. Hope you found that useful. I've been Brucey and I will certainly catch you later. Take care, my friends.